You don't remember that you live here? Who am I again? Yeah, who am I again? Okay, so we got a fan request for coral and browns. We haven't done that, that, that color palette since we were really new to YouTube. So we are going to revisit that one with some um, kind I'd of like lipstick. I'd like to point out that the Rio Source channel has been on YouTube for 10 years now. So <laughs> I don't know serious? what you're talking about. I don't. I think you're stupid because I think we've only been on here for I'm like six or seven this. months. I'm cold. Well, that's because you're a wimp, and I'm having hot flashes, so it's getting ready to get opened right back up because I'm gonna win that battle. All right. So let's see here. I'm not gonna do a color mixing on this one because we had some colors left over from a previous pour, and um, corals are really easy to make: oranges, yellows, naphtha, reds, and yellows, that sort of thing. You just need to play in the paint. You guys have got to start playing in the paint. What I did do was add a Van Dyke Brown with some Pyrrole Red to warm that up a little bit. And I added um, a little bit of the initial coral color and I put a little bit more of the Azo Yellow meat, um, Deep in that to give it to warm it up just a little bit. And I don't even like saying warm or cool because really those terms are relative. This I wanted to have more of a yellow hue than the pinky lipstick hue. Both of these are salmon coral colors, but one is more to the red and one is more to the yellow. And that's how that works. So um, that is what I'm looking to, to do here. So um, I think, and you know, we are, we've been playing in the, with the negative space thing a lot lately. And so this time I think I'm going to use the metallic copper as my negative space. So without wasting any more time, can I have a cup? Two cups, say. Two cups? Yeah, give me two Dos cups. Dos Tubos. Spanish. Actually, you know what? Maybe we'll just do it in this cup. We're going to pour in that cup. So there's some of that pink. And then there's some of that beautiful coral color with the azo yellow in it. And there's some of that brown. Then we're coming in here with the naphthol. This is naphthol red light, naphthol red medium, and pyrrole red. With a little bit of permanent magenta in there as well. And this is the same thing I just spouted off except it's got more white in it, higher value. It's a little pinky. Pink-esque. It's pink-esque. It is kind of pink-esque. So the gold or the copper. A little bit more of that brown there. Here we go. So I 
All right, so the cup is full. Mm -hmm. The cup has already got cells forming. I'm super excited about that. Now, I'm going to pour this on there. Look how yummy, delicious that is. I might need to make some more, and I can. This is Light Copper by Golden, and it's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. It's thick and yummy and beautifully shimmery. It's just, it's absolutely perfect for this. So let's see what kind of results we get. So we've got a little bit of that on here. And this is thick too, y'all. It's not one to it's not one to move around much. It's thick. Because what I'm what I'm thinking I want to do, spread this around in here. as much as I can and then I want to do a pour over the top of that. I'm going to do a flip and then I think I'm going to do a, a flip pour. Oh that is just gorgeous. And yet we're having some trouble there. Look at that. It's already, that's trying to sell up. Well, your cups aren't on the stretcher bars, they're on the canvas. Oh, that's a problem. Yeah. I'm going to have to fix that. Okay, so that's out the door. Pick up your canvas and I'll move the cups for you. There we go. That's Yay, much better. Teamwork. Yay, teamwork. Um, you know that light should really be over here. Can we move that really quickly? Sure. Can you uh, lend me a seventy-foot extension cord so it'll work over here? We go. Should be right there. We need another extension cord. That's good. It's as far as it's going. That's perfect. That's exactly where it needs to be. Ooh wee. That is beautiful already. Okay, so bear with me because I kind of don't know what I'm doing here, but I got a big old thick thing of, of paint here. Do you already have a photo of this size? Yeah. Okay. Trying to figure out what you're gonna do. Yeah, I'm scared. I'm just gonna do it. Okay. Ready? Yes. <gasps> Look what I did. Oh wow. Wow. Yeah, I think you should do a slow mo of that, say. you hide my phone from me, real? No, not that I know of. Yeah. I mean, that would be really funny and all, but I don't think I did that. Wowza. Okay, so yes, I poured a lot of that paint off. That's a fact, I did. I poured a lot of that paint off. And there's a lot of it that's just beautiful on the table, which I feel kind of bad about because this one's really, really pretty. Really, really pretty. I feel like I want to move it that way a little bit more.
There we go. Made some of those cells a little bit bigger looking. Ooh, now, what I want you to do is give me the UPO. Because I... a sheet of UPO is right behind you on that table somewhere. Yep. You gonna drink this coffee? I don't know how old that coffee is. I have tea over here. One sheet of the large youth bow. Mm-hmm. Here you are. Shankaroo. You're very welcome. I need a big palette knife. Um, like the one you asked me if I had been looking for? This one? Yeah. Is it dirty? Kind of. Kind of. I also feel like I need another canvas. Do you have enough paint? I'm just going to do it on the UPO. Really, I'm just gonna do it on the UPO. The UPO. I'm gonna do it on the UPO, say, and then mat it, cause that would be cool. Hmm. All right. Kind of looks like a cross between the suck my butt pour and some something else. I don't even know what, but it's it's just too beautiful to let it not to let it sit on the table. So we're gonna try to save it if we can. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this here, and I'm going to run this around, and then I'm going to take this, Then I'm going to take this, go here, and here, and here, and here, and here. Look at that color, that's beautiful. And some of this pink. Let's get all of that in there. Because this UPO page, I can cut into two pieces and sell two 5x7s.
just one big piece. Okay, now that's probably way more than I need. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Are you? Yeah, you're good over here. It's all right. I'll bring it back. I just want to get it set up here. Like that. You ready? Look at that. You getting it? Now I just want to empty all of this out. I'm just playing in the paint, y'all. I just want to see what all these colors do together. This is how I work out color palettes for other things. It doesn't have as much negative space in it as I want. However, it's beautiful. And we're still going to torch it, and it's still, it's still a really nice piece. It's still a one arc a piece. And this piece over here is just beautiful. I don't know. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know. This is always such a nice color palette. Seriously, it's always such a nice color palette. Heat, torch. Big beautiful cells. Now the key is to pour some of it off but not all of it because we got to get rid of some of it or it's going to crack. Yes and I'm yeah. definitely, yeah I see that. Let me go back that way. I am definitely liking what's going on with it now. Oh yes, that's beautiful. That. Oh, I want countertops that look like this. Pink countertops. Coral countertops. Oh, yeah. I am really pleased with that. It makes me really want to come over here. I'm going to come over here and jack with this now because I, I want a little bit. I want some of that solid pink in this. Which I know some of you are screaming at me. Stop! Don't do it. Too bad. I'm doing it anyway. You have to be willing, almost willing to screw one up from time to time. It helps you learn. It helps you learn what to do and what not to do. Because I'm kind of a real visual person. I have to be able to see it. I can't just like kind of make up my mind that that would be okay. I really need to be able to see it in the application to determine if I would, if I like it or not. And I got a lot of paint on here that I'm going to move around just a bit. I am really liking that. Really and really, really truly liking that.
Oh, wow, yeah. That was a good call. That was a really good call. Gonna spin this, make you guys dizzy. Woo! Dizzy! Like being dizzy. Man, that one's really pretty too. I don't like this hard edge over here, so let's ditch that. There we go. Much better, much, much better. Way more cohesive. I'm not a big fan of this hard edge here, so either. So we're gonna kind of move the paint around over there just a touch. I love this. Can we get another cup? This one's beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. This one's beautiful too. Wowza. This is beautiful. It's marbleized. It looks fantastic. I am really happy. This this color palette is definitely a keeper. I'm glad it was suggested to me. Definitely a keeper. So, okay, tell us what you think in the comments. Did you think I was gonna ruin it and then did I save it? Or do you think I straight up ruined it and you liked it better before I poured the extra pink on there? Um, if you got a suggestion for a color palette, send us an email or drop us a comment about that. And uh, again, we are super excited that you're here. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, you might want to do so. We're going to just keep teaching you all the things I can teach you about color, and it's going to be pretty, quite a bit of fun. It's really going to be a lot of fun. Ring that bell for subscriptions, the whole nine yards. And until next time, thanks for joining us in the studio. Ciao!